Hi everyone, it's Christina here. So you can probably see and tell by the energy and a smile that I have. Uh, I just jumped off the very positive call with a customer and we were discussing for half an hour scoring and grading. It might sound a very simple topic, but there's a lot of details to it. There's a lot of best practices and there was a lot of valuable content and the things and the thoughts that I shared. So I thought while it's fresh in my mind, let me share it with everyone. So first thing first, scoring. What is scoring? Scoring shows to you as a business how much prospected how much prospect is interested in you as a business and scoring does it based on all the scores that you set for each action that can happen using Pardot assets and it accumulates that score based on the actions and interactions they do into one big number so for example they complete form handler they visit your page website for 10 times, they open your email, each of these actions has a score in you, for you, in your part out. So in total, form capture can be 50 points, 10 page views can be 10 points, one point for each page view, and then there can be, let's say, five points for opening an email, 65 points in total. So by looking, and going to the prospect record in Pardot, you can tell how much they're engaged, how much they're interested based on the score they have accumulated by doing all those actions using your assets that were created, stored, or sent from Pardot. So this is score. Score shows you how prospect is interested in you as a business based on how much they do and interact with you. On the other hand, grading, grading is how much we as a business, now I am a business, how much I as a business am interested in you as a prospect, as a potential customer, as a potential client. Because each business have their own unique customer profiles because as a business that has had a life, let's say a business that exists for two years, a business that exists for 10 years, so on, so on, they have understood and learned what is the best type of customer for them. So for example, I am in a consultancy space. I own my own consultancy. I know by going to my Salesforce that 95% of deals were converted by head of marketing, CMO, or marketing managers because they are highest people in their marketing hierarchy in the company and they are the ones that make purchasing decision specifically for buying or not buying Pardot. And I know as a business that that's for me the best profile to target and then logically as a business I understand I need to create more content, send more targeted emails, create more white paper and forms to download, to download specifically for those marketing managers, CMOs, head of marketings so then they learn more about specifically from us about Pardot and marketing and they further want to proceed with buying Pardot implementation from us and further using our implementation services, etc, etc. So again, going back to the core, grade shows how much I, as a business, am interested in that specific prospect, client, customer, how good fit they are. And in my scenario that I just previously showed, somebody who has a title CMO, somebody's company whose annual revenue is above million, somebody who has internally more than 150 employees, somebody who is based in US, UK, Australia, uh, Germany, let's say, is 
may be in the criteria for my best type of customer. So if a new prospect that converts through my website by completing the form and their title is CMO, they are, let's say, they are working in Salesforce, their um, employee count is, I don't know, 200,000, they're based in UK, for all of the selections that they selected based on their profile, or maybe I used some sort of data enhancing service in my Salesforce after, uh, after reviewing their initial submission and populating all those fields, I know that they are the best type of customer to me, hence I give them a score A. I don't know why I'm showing five, but A. A, A, whatever, yeah? I am giving them a score A because they are a really great customer and I know that they will gonna potentially convert if we further correctly nurture them and do a correct sales pitch, etc., etc. On the other hand, somebody who is a student and they are in general looking for new jobs and they are expl exploring whether Salesforce and Pardot is a good space to be in and where they will be able to earn good salary, they maybe complete a lot of forms. Maybe they download all our white papers, gated assets, like visit our website 100 million times and their score will be 10,025. But it doesn't change the fact that they are student, uh, 19 years old, maybe ba based in, uh, I don't want to say any country is bad, but let's say third world country. I know for me, they're not a good client, not a good fit because they will not going to uh, buy anything from us. They will only submit a lot of forms, send us a lot of questions. We will going to spend a lot of time talking to them and maybe helping them, but there will be no more like monitor conversion, no kind of value in us, in them to gain more business, right? So that's like the whole thing. Think of a grade as there's a teacher, there's a student, student is maybe interested in the topic, but everything that they do, all the tasks and assignments they complete are bad. That's why Teacher gives them a score F because they suck at it, they're bad. But if somebody who is doing everything really, really well and they're really, really smart, teacher will gonna give them A because they're a really great student and they should continue their career in that subject. So basically grade is how business is interested in that specific customer or a client by applying a grade and by developing these best customer profiles and applying that profile and then further grading that person based on that profile, you will, in one glance, your salespeople in one glance will gonna know how good this prospect is for us and how much effort I should actually put into converting that. And if you get, let's say, 100 leads every day, by having a grade, you will be able to see how much attention I should be paying to each of them. And if somebody completed, uh, 100 leads completed the form, and there are like, let's say, two people that have grade A, I will do all my research, I'm going to devote all my time to convert these A prospects, because by converting these A prospects, I know business will going to generate the most revenue. And then those that are on the bottom, all the F's and E's and D's, I'm going to deal with them later. No offense, but there's not a lot of business for me. And most of the people, they are driven by uh, how much percentage they will going to get from closed one opportunities, right? So that's why knowing which are the leads that I should focus on based on a grade is very, very valuable for every business. And to summarize everything that I just said, score is how prospect is interested in you as a business. Grade is how much I as a business am interested into that prospect. So hopefully uh, this, uh, this free setup uh, was all right for you. You got some new information, some new knowledge. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, stay safe, stay tuned. 
uh, visit our website, uh, write us suggestions for any blogs or information you have, or ask us any questions. We are here to help. Let's make a world a brighter place with Parnat. Alrighty, bye.